Good on you. You hear that? It's a voice. Tiny voice coming from under the hood saying, Save me, Taylor. Get me out of this showroom. Give me a real home. I don't know. Here, Billy, go play with your Toka life farm. What is not to like? It's a convertible, fully loaded, with a rear view camera. I know how much you hate parallel parking. Come on. It's practically. Don't say it. Taylor made. <laughs> Worst pun ever. Or the best? Look, I told you, I don't need a car. I'm fine Ubering. You are not Ubering when you go back to school in the fall. And if you don't go back to school... How am I ever gonna finish my teaching degree and pay off my student loans? Oh. Do I really sound like mom used to? Yeah, don't answer that. <laughs> Look, I appreciate you wanting to help out. Yeah, it is not help. Think of it like Mark and I getting you a Christmas gift for the next 50,000 miles. It's way too much. Is it too much for me to want my little sister out of our guest room and back on her feet? Taylor, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. Mark and I can afford to help. We want to help. It's been six months since Brad... Brad's accident. We just want you to get back on track. Yeah, well, maybe I'm, I'm not ready. Look, you know you can stay with us as long as you want, but at some point you have got to face this. It was a drunk driver, not you. I know. And I know it's been six months. That's why I'm moving out. Wait, you are? Yes, but don't laugh. I have an interview with an au pair agency. Wait, you're gonna be a... A live-in nanny? Look, I know it's not following in your exact footsteps. And I know I'm putting my teaching career on hold. Yeah. But I have the experience and can earn great money. Besides, you'll get a break and it'll give me a chance to clear my head. Start over. Okay, cue the lecture, how I'm an idiot and I'm wasting my life. You know what I think? I think you're running away. Yeah, maybe I am. Or maybe this is how I move forward. I have to try something. To be continued. Billy, do not move! How old are you, 28? 22. Close enough. Taylor, do you know how many girls sit in that chair and think that just because they babysat for their neighbor in high school, they can be an au pair? Well, I nannied in college for a year and a half. 
The Deckards wrote a great letter of recommendation. I read it. Oh. Do you need more? I can call the Metcalfs. I only watched Krista for five months. It's not about letters. It's about you. Do you really think you're ready to move into an entirely new place with complete strangers? The job is 24-7. You don't punch in at 9 and out at 5. There's no social life here. You cook, you clean. You give yourself over to another family completely. I know I can do this. I've heard that before. I, I really need this job. I've heard that too. Just stop writing for a second. Look, this town has too many bad memories. Please. I have to get as far away from this place as possible. And this is the only way I know how. You know what? I like you. You make eye contact, you don't wear a lot of makeup, and you talk in complete sentences. So here's what I'm going to do. I just got a call from a family in Mill Valley. They're desperate. It's a good gig. The pay is above rate with room to grow. And today's your lucky day. All of my other girls are booked. Does that mean? I got a good feeling about you. I'm going to let you meet the Caleb's. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, Missy. I just can't give you the job. You still need to meet the family. I don't know a lot about the Caleb's, except you would be their first au pair. What I do know is Dr. and Mrs. Caleb are very private people. Oh, I can be discreet. You'd better be. It's a prerequisite. Just remember, as much as you're taking a chance on this family, this family's taking a chance on you. Don't screw it up. Must be Taylor. Hi, yeah, that's me. Come on in. We've been expecting you. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Oh, no problem. Great to be here. Right this way. I'll go find my wife. We can have a little chat. Please, have a seat. Sit. This won't take long. It's my understanding from your resume that you've never been an au pair before. Well, that's true. That's what I thought. Don't take this the wrong way, dear, but I have no idea why the agency sent you. It was very specific in my request. It's disappointing. They came so highly recommended, and my time is far too valuable for this nonsense. So I'm so sorry that you came all this way for nothing. Oh, you ladies but... have met. Wonderful. Alessandra, I was just looking for you. This is Taylor. We've met. Taylor, truly, we are both. So glad you're here, really. We're, we're in a pinch. We need some help. Isn't that right, sweetheart? 
Hmm. Mill Valley's a small community. I'm a pediatrician. With the retirement of the only other doctor in town, I, I'm barely keeping up. Now, Alessandra normally cares for our daughter, but my wife is working on a, a really great project due at the end of August. Since it's summer, Emily's already finished homeschooling. Um, she needs to be taken care of. So, here you are. Here I am. If you don't mind me asking, what's your big project, Alessandra? I'm writing a book. She's being humble. It's more than just a book. It's her life's work. What's it about? That's confidential. Don't take it personally, Taylor. She won't tell me either. Not until it's finished, at least. But the good news is I've got a friend in publishing who is very interested in reading the finished product, which it will finally be thanks to you. John, it's not going to work out with Taylor. What do you mean? She doesn't have any around-the-clock experience. I think the agency was confused about how much care our little Emily needs. Is this true? I mean, you're not going to stay? Well, I've nannied before, but... Yes, this would be my first time as an au pair. Oh, too bad. We really need someone. Honey, maybe this could be like one of those uh, on-the-job learning opportunities. I, you do need to learn sometime, right? Normally, I would agree, but we need a professional. Maybe you can come back in a year or two. Yes, of course. I understand. But since I did come all this way, could I at least meet Emily? She doesn't take well to strangers. That's why we homeschool her. But hey, at least let me pay for your Uber. You did come out all this way. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll walk you out. Hello? Emily, honey, what are you doing out of your room? I wanted to meet you. I'm Taylor. What's your name? I'm Emily. It's very nice to meet you, Emily. It's nice to meet you, too. Can Taylor stay and play? Oh, I'm afraid I can't, sweetie. I have to go. You'll be back, right? You're gonna live with us? <laughs> I wish I could. Could you stay, please? You know what? Yes. John. Yes, she can. I'm gonna go with my gut on this, honey. We're all gonna give Taylor a chance. So yes, she can stay. That is, if you'd still like to. Yes, very much. Good, good, then you can start right away. Welcome aboard. seems like a nice girl. I mean, if anybody should give her a chance, it's us. Oh, come on. We need this. You need this. That girl is your best chance of finishing your book, and you know it. Besides, Emily adores her. I don't know. There's something I don't like about her. She seems perfect. Well, too perfect, and that's what scares me. If you put us at risk, it's on you. Do you know why I'm up here? Because I was supposed to stay in my room. And when Mommy tells you to do something? You always do as she says. And why is that? 
because the boogeyman will come and take me away. Come here. We've been through this. There is no such thing as the boogeyman. That's make-believe. But you said there was a bad man. Yes, I did. He is real. But we do everything we can to protect you from him. Everything. You know that, don't you? I do, Mommy. And if Taylor does or says anything to scare you, you will tell me right away, promise? I promise, Mommy. Good. I mean, are you really gonna choose some random girl over your favorite nephew? Can't you stay here? Okay, how long did you two rehearse this? I have no idea what you're talking about. You can be so evil sometimes. You're my favorite, and I promise I'll be back before you know it. How'd you do? She didn't buy it. Dang. Well, I am sure that she will be back again to visit us soon. She's good about stuff like that. Maybe you could give us a minute for some girl talk. Ooh. Well, sorry to throw you to the wolves, but I am powerless against this one. <laughs> hey, let's go watch some SpongeBob, okay, buddy? Good, good luck. luck. So, who is Brad Hardwick dating this week? Let. I can't believe you still read that crap. Believe it. And don't worry, I already forwarded my subscription to the Calebs. So you're really doing this? Can't already sign the contract. I still think it's a mistake, but you are my sister, and I love you. You know, ever since Mom died, it's just been you and me. This will be the farthest we've ever been apart. So no matter how much I don't want you to go, I will support you. And all your stuff will be in the garage for whatever you want to come home. Thanks, sis. All of this on one condition. <laughs> What's that? I'm driving you tomorrow. I want to meet these people you're trading us in for. <laughs> Deal. Okay. How much SpongeBob when you're done? <laughs> Nice house. No wonder you're ditching us. <laughs> I think I can handle it from here. No way. I still need to check out the competition. Taylor, you're here. Hi, I'm Dr. Caleb. But if you're not a patient, you can call me John. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Kara, Taylor's older and very protective sister. And she's just here to help with the bags, and then she's leaving. Are you sure? You could come in, relax. I appreciate it, but I've got a bit of a drive back. Besides, Taylor told me this is a curbside drop-off only. Well, thanks for bringing her out. She's a lifesaver. We feel very fortunate to have your sister help us out. Oh, Kara, I'd like you to meet my wife, Alessandra. Honey, say hello to Taylor's sister. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you, too. So, my husband and I both work at Pedersen College. If you need anything, anything, we're only an hour away. Oh, then we'll be sure to call. Taylor, I'll get your things, take them to your room, give you two a minute. Thanks. Thanks. I guess this is it. I guess so. Man, is it just me or are they good looking people? Like, intimidatingly good looking. Really? That's the worst you can come up with? They're too good looking? You're right. I should probably go in, make sure it's up to my standards, mm -mm -mm. and I'm fine, fine. <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna be okay? 
Last chance to back out, I can toss you in the trunk. Barbie and Ken will never see you again. This is where I need to be. This is where Brad would have wanted me. I have a fresh start. Okay. Okay, call or text me so I don't worry too much, okay? And try and stay out of trouble. <laughs> Come on. What's the worst that could happen? has to be in its right place at all times. I have to listen to what mommy says. She's right. But as long as we clean it up, making a little mess can be fun. to startle you. This whole someone new in the house thing's gonna take a little getting used to. No, it's okay. I guess I have to get used to all this, too. Alessandra's already started her writing session, so why don't I give you the grand tour? After all, this is your home now, too. That'd be great. Now, down there at the end of the hall, that's the master bedroom. My practice opens early with all the moms bringing their kids in before school, so I'm usually out of their first thing. Now, that door there, that's Alessandra's office. She's pretty insistent. No visitors, no knocking. She doesn't want anyone in there, even me. I'd stay clear if I were you. You don't want to rock the boat with her too soon, if you know what I mean. Got it. Good. Then on with the tour. We try to limit Emily's television intake. Even then, we keep it to movies. I mean, we prefer her reading because her intelligence, ah, oh, it's off the charts. Now, you already know where your room is. And this is important. Every night, we lock Emily's door from the outside so she stays put. I know, weird, right? Locking her in. But it's not what you think. It's for her own good. She sleepwalks. So we make sure to lock it when we tuck her in. Little troublemaker, she learned to climb out of her crib before she was six months old. With these stairs here, we don't want anything to happen to our little baby doll. No, we don't. Good. You know, I think this is gonna work out, Taylor. I really do. Let's head downstairs. door. That's my little escape. My home away from home. Emily knows it's off limits, so I doubt you'll find yourself in there. Now, the kitchen, you should get to know. Bad news, Dr. Caleb. Those cookies that your wife wasn't supposed to know about, she knows about them. Oh, hi. Luke, this is Taylor, Emily's new au pair. Luke works at the Autumn Moon Market. There's only two grocery stores in town, so he stays pretty busy. He delivers food here twice a week, and it's a huge time saver for Alessandra, and now for you. Well, it's nice to meet you, Luke. 
Yeah, nice meeting you too. Taylor's gonna be handling the cooking now, so she'll put together the menus with Alessandra and she'll get you the orders. And you're still planning on coming tomorrow, right? To bring Taylor anything she wants? Yes, sir. Try to sneak me a couple boxes of Malamars. I'll, uh, I'll handle the wrath of the missus. You got it. Just text me. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, see you in the morning. You're not doing it right. Oh? Well, how should I do it? With your little finger like this. I'm surprised you don't know that since you're so old. So old? How old do you think I am? 22. But I already knew that. Mommy told me. 22 is not old. Hey, Emily? Yeah? Did you go in my room? No. You sure? If you wanted to borrow my magazine cover, you just need to ask. What magazine cover? You know what? Forget about it. It's probably my nephew. He's always causing trouble. You have a nephew? What's his name? Billy. He's a little younger than you, but you'd like him. So why didn't you go to college? Did your mom ask you to ask me that? No, I'm just naturally curious. Well, I did go to be a teacher. In fact, I only have a year left. Why did you stop? Life had other plans for me. Nap time. Oh, come on, we have the entire summer to play. Besides, I need to start dinner. Don't forget to lock her, mom will get mad. Oh, I won't. Sorry to disturb you. I uh, just wanted to make sure you were okay with the chicken piccata for dinner, and then I heard... You were explicitly told to stay away from my office, correct? And Dr. Caleb already okayed tonight's menu, correct? That's what I thought. It would be wise for you to remember that I didn't want you for this job, and I still don't. If you wish to keep working here, remember. My office is off limits. Don't worry about it. She's fine. But her food's getting cold. It's okay. It happens sometimes. Skips meals. She skips a lot, actually. We both got used to it. But that's why you're here. Right, Em? Yep. 
And you cook well, too. Better than Daddy. <sighs> Hold on now, I'm a good cook. You're good at microwaving stuff, but that's not really <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Trust me, Alessandro will be in a great mood once she finishes writing. She's just gotta get it out on the page. You'll see. You brushed your teeth, right? And floss. Ugh, look at you. So responsible, it's like you don't even need me anymore. Yeah, I do. Oh, sweetie, it's okay. I'm here. But I heard Mommy yelling at you. Oh, honey, no. I made a mistake. That's all. It's gonna be fine. If you don't listen to what she says, the boogeyman's gonna come and take you away. The, the boogeyman? Mommy used to check the closet for monsters for me, too. She doesn't anymore? Well, not since I got big. Where is she now? She got really sick. And she's not with us anymore. She's better now, right? Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. When my mom passed away, my big sister took good care of me. And I learned from the best. That's why I'm going to take good care of you. Because we're friends. You don't understand. The boogeyman's going to come and take you away. And I don't want you to go. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? Promise? Promise. Now, get some sleep and dream up some fun stuff for us to do in the morning. Don't forget to lock the door. Ah, uh, right. No sleepwalking for you tonight. I don't sleepwalk. Uh, of course you don't. I was just making a joke. Good night. Taylor. Dr. Caleb and I would like you to join us downstairs. Okay, sure. Follow me. John? Ah, round three, my dear? Yes. You got some catching up to do. What can I get you? Uh, champagne's great. Oh. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, there we go. We got more in the wine cellar. So what are we celebrating? To your arrival, coinciding with a breakthrough day on the book, two whole chapters. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so happy to hear you finally made some progress. Yes. I've had a wave of inspiration. I'll say. A couple more weeks like that. We'll have that book done by the end of August for sure.
Shut it off. I said shut it off. Hun, it's okay. She didn't know. Here, have another drink. Keep the night going. It's fine. No, I'm the one who's sorry. She hates that song, Bad Memories. There's no way you could have known. Well, I guess this is good night. talk to you about last night. Oh, I am so sorry about the song. No, I'm the one who's sorry. John calmed me down. He's right. There's no way that you could have known that... that... song reminds me of someone. Someone who was very special to me. That ended in a lot of heartbreak. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I do. More than you know. Taylor, besides a much needed apology, I wanted to talk to you about something girl to girl. Dr. Caleb, <clears throat> John, he's very fond of you. A wife can tell. And when two people of the opposite sex are in very close, intimate quarters... Oh, Alessandra, I would never... Never. Say never. My husband is a very charming man. Sometimes too charming, but I want you to know that we have a very unorthodox agreement. So should something happen between the two of you, I want you to know I'm fine with it. You're fine with it? Hmm. We are very secure in our marriage. What's most important to us is Emily, that she is safe and protected. So if you can do that for us, well, if something happens, it happens. Okay then, I want Emily bathed and clothed before nine so that she can work on her math worksheets. I'll be in my office. Need a hand? Sure. How are you settling in? I think okay, so far. It must be pretty strange living with people you never met. It takes getting used to. But I'm sure you know the Caleb's well, right? Not as well as you think. What do you mean? I mean, they're pretty quiet folks. They keep to themselves. <laughs> Dr. John's got his practice, and he's pretty well liked. He does sponsor the high school football team every year, but no one ever really sees Alessandra. Really? Yeah, and Mill Valley's a small town. I mean, everybody knows everybody, except for the Calebs. You know, my parents said they don't even remember seeing her pregnant with Emily. Anyway, you should come into town sometime. Visit me at the store. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and you can bring Emily along. I feel like I know her from what she eats, but I've never actually met her in person. It's almost like they keep her locked in a basement or something. Well, hey, maybe this will convince you. We got some really great homemade ice cream. It's all local ingredients. I didn't know that. Well, now you do. 
Well, if you have Rocky Road, then you might just convince me. Oh, we got it. We'll see if I can get you a discount. Then we'll stop by. Good. <laughs> Tale of Two Cities. It's on my reading list. I think I read that in high school. What kind of list is this? My mom made it. Why am I not surprised? You know, reading time was finished 20 minutes ago. How about a game? But I just started a new chapter. I thought you were going to dream up something fun for us to do. Want to watch a movie? Now that's an idea. What kind of movies do you like? What kind do you like? Me? I like a good romance. Anything that tugs on the heartstrings, I'm in. Have you ever seen Overnight Sensation? No. What's that one? It's my absolute favorite. And it stars the dreamiest actor ever, Brad Hardwick. Who's he? <laughs> oh, Emily. I know what we're watching. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. Thank you. Just kept my eyes on the road. <laughs> Well, I could have done this that. is a good movie. <laughs> I hope your parents don't kill me for showing it to you. They won't. I could watch movies, even PG-13 ones. Just not TV. Daddy said it's the opiate of the masses. Do you even know what that means? No, but Daddy thinks I do. <laughs> well, there's a lot more Brad Hardwick where this came from. I used to watch these with my sister. Overnight Sensation 2, Overnight Sensation 3, Overnight Sensation 4. I own all of them. I have so much to teach you. What is this? It's just a movie. I hope that's okay. Dr. Caleb said it was. Where did it come from? It's mine. I brought it. You? You brought this filth into my home? Mommy, stop! And look! Now you've upset my daughter. We do not allow his movies in this house. We do not speak his name. He does not exist. I need to go right. Get rid of this movie immediately. I do. A ripped from the headlines feature. Can I have sex with Margot Robbie? Talk about it. You're right. If you don't want to have sex with Brad Hardwick, you got to screw this. And what about her basically telling me I can sleep with her husband? That's weird. But at least he's hot, right? I'm still here. I love you, babe. Hey, stop with your nails. Mom told you to stop doing that years ago. I'm sorry. It's just... What? Them locking Emily in at night? Alessandra's weird girl talk? Snapping at the movie My Music? Maybe I'm getting cabin fever. What was the name of that song again? Love Kill, why? Isn't that the song from the Brad Hartwick movie, Bad Affair? Was it? Yeah, it is. It's not like I like watching this movie. Of course not. Holy crap, you're right. That is a coincidence. Yeah. This may sound strange, but did you see Billy with my magazine cover? Just the cover? No. Why? Wait, wasn't that the one with Brad Hardwick on it? Yeah. And someone tore it off. Okay, my weirdo meter's officially kicking in. Do you want us to come get you? You know what? No, I need to stick this out. Like you said, I can't keep running away from things. Besides, with... Dr. Caleb gone all day and Alessandra acting so weird. The little girl needs me. I'm gonna stay.
Ah, uh, here, let me help. It looks perfect on you. So, I was thinking, instead of sitting around and reading War and Peace or whatever's next on your reading list, let's have a little adventure. I hear the Autumn Moon Market has really good ice cream. I love ice cream! <laughs> let's have a field trip then. You can have ice cream, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> good. Look at all that ice cream! You've never been here before? Hey, you made it! And you must be Emily. I'm Luke. I know you. Mom says you're the one that always bruises the apples. Hey, that only happened once. But it's nice to finally meet you in person. It's nice to meet you too. Um, I believe I was promised Rocky Road. And Rocky Road you shall have. And Emily, what can I get you? Mm, cookie dough? Cookie dough it is. Two scoops coming up. Rocky Road and Cookie Dough. Getting to think you didn't like it. Oh no, it's delicious. What do you think, Emily? I think we're coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe you guys can come back a little earlier, grab some lunch. There's a really great pizza place around the corner. Pizza? We're definitely coming back. <laughs> we'll have to check our calendar. taking her side. Then you are ignoring everything. Her late night phone calls, her trip to town. But I'm sure there's a simple explanation. She's probably talking to her sister. Remember her sister? How do you even know that was her sister and not some strange girl? It could have been anybody. And if that's not enough. I overheard her, John. I overheard her talking to the grocery boy. She was asking about us. She was asking about Emily. She was asking about Emily. Everything that we have been afraid of, John. We let this girl in our house and she is taunting us. The movie, the magazine, the song. She's rubbing it in our face, John. She knows. And you know what that means? That means Brad knows. He knows where we are and he is coming for our Emily. Is that what you want?
Tara, pick up, pick up. Very funny, Billy. Put your mom on. How do you know it was me? Because you need braces. Get your mom. When are you coming to visit? Soon, I hope. Mom! No, it can't wait. Is everything okay? Can Marx look at those DNA tests through the lab at school, like when you guys did his family tree? Honey, I'm, I'm in a rush. Can we talk genealogy later? No, it's not for me. It's for Emily. Wait, the daughter? There's something weird going on here. Something they don't want anyone to know about. I think they're hiding Emily from someone. Why would they do that? It sounds crazy, but I think they abducted Emily from her real parents. Now, I, I can't prove it yet, but it has something to do with... Brad Hardwick. You're right, that does sound crazy. That's why I need the DNA test. It's the only way to know if she's really their daughter. Are you serious about this? I think she's in trouble. Please, I wouldn't ask if I didn't believe this was real. At the instruction of my desk on campus, I'll text them. But Taylor, if this is true, you need to be careful, okay? Or else it's not just that little girl who's gonna be in trouble. Play a game? Sure, which one? Any good at hide and seek? 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, through as fast as I can.
How's the water? Perfect. Good. We don't use it enough. Costs a fortune. Usually just sits here with the cover on. <laughs> I'm glad someone's finally enjoying it. Alessandra, she's burning the midnight oil again. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate drinking alone. Since Emily's in bed, I thought you'd like to join me. What are we celebrating this time? Well, the longer you stay here, the more you'll realize we don't really need a reason to celebrate to drink around here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Speaking of staying, I want you to know I like having you around. When I saw you last night, I... Again, I'm, I'm so sorry about oh, no. that. Oh, no, no, don't be. I wasn't mad. Actually, it was quite the opposite. I, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Dr. Caleb. Oh, please call me John. Taylor, look. I know about the conversation you had with Alessandra. About... Many things happen. You do? Yeah. We have an agreement. We've both had our indiscretions. Hey. I know how hard it is. By yourself, out here. Cut off from the world. You can get pretty lonely. Taylor. You don't have to be lonely. I can help with that. I can't. Is this someone else? Yes, kind of. Is it Brad? What do you know about Brad? Something Emily said, I think? I didn't tell Emily about him. Well, you never know what she'll figure out. She's smart like that. Yeah, she is. Um, well, I should go to bed. I thank you for the drink. Yeah. You saw the whole thing? Of course. You were right. She's hiding something about Brad. I told you. I'm sorry I didn't listen sooner. None of that matters now. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Three places. I don't want money. I don't want to rob the store. Now we're gonna to walk to that car over there, and you're not gonna fight me. Nod, if you understand. Hello, Luke. You'll be coming with us. We've got lots to talk about. I hope you brought more ice cream. Oh, hi. I thought you were Luke. No, well, the Caleb's requested someone else. But don't worry, I can carry bags just like him, though. Where do you want him? You reach Luke, leave a message. Hey, it's Taylor. We missed you today. Call me when you get this. Good. The groceries are on time. Nothing missing? I don't think so. What happened to Luke? The new guy said you requested someone else? Yes, I did. Can I ask why? Because I can. 
I know you took Emily to the market to visit Luke without our permission. I didn't know I needed permission. From now on, you will not take Emily off the property. Do I need to remind you that we are paying you to take care of our daughter at home? No, Alessandra, I understand. Good. Now take care of the groceries. Oh. And Taylor, Dr. Caleb and I are going out tonight. He's getting an award from the town. Oh, that's wonderful. It is. I hope we can trust you to stay at home without making any mistakes. Princess? Oh! <laughs> uh, looks like you're all having fun. We are. I beat Taylor three times. Oh, good. Because we Caleb's hate to lose. You about ready to go? Yes. As soon as we tuck Emily in. Mommy and Daddy have an important night out, so we need you to stay in your room no matter what, okay? Okay. That's my girl. Hope you guys have a good night. My weirdo meter officially just went off. Come get me now. The evidence is solid and irrefutable. We know she's working with Brad. They thought they had us fooled, but we're smarter than they think. We know what they're trying to take from us, and that's why we set a trap. A trap to catch Taylor in the act. And the stupid girl took the bait. She went inside my office. And broke the rules. I knew it. I knew it all along. History could easily be verified. She seemed so nice. I never thought he'd send someone into her own home. But he did. I'm just gonna one gag you. We have questions. Like, 
How long have you been working for him? Work for him? I don't even know a Brad Hardwick! Liar! We saw your phone. We found the contact card. You even told us last night that you had a relationship with him. Remember? What? No, I, I was talking about my fiancé. Fiancé? You're engaged? I was. But he died. More lies. She is trying to manipulate us like Brad manipulated me. I'm not, I swear. You can't fool me. I know him. I fell for him too. When he smiles, that charming smile do anything for him and when he touches you your whole body melts and then you realize what he did to you and how much it hurt eight years ago i was deep into my residency i was selfish never around and alessandra she was alone almost always and brad hardwick yeah. He was in town, shooting a movie. Over time, John has forgiven me. But I am reminded of my infidelity every single day. You mean, Emily? Have you told Brad about her yet? I told you I've never even met Brad Hardwick. I don't know him! I was afraid you'd say that. I need you to be honest with us, Taylor. I don't want to use these, but I will. They'll hurt. <laughs> you should know. I'll do anything to protect my family. Who the hell is that? Stay here and be quiet. May we help you? Hi, uh, I'm Kara. Remember me, I'm Taylor's sister. I just had to drop something off, is she here? No, I'm sorry, she's not, she's out. Re really? You sure, because she left me a voicemail, it sounded pretty urgent. Grocery boy? Wow. Pickens are slim in Mill Valley. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming out. We'll give her the package. Now, if you'll excuse us. Kara! Taylor? <laughs> Taylor, run! Go! Find her! Go! <laughs> Got to get out of here. No, not with that Emily Care. I was right. Her father is Brad Hardwick. There is no way that Brad Hardwick is that little girl's father. This is Annie Jess.
Feel free to scream all you want. We're too far from town. No one can hear you. Not even Brad. Your actions have consequences. Remember, you did this to your friends. Luke, what did you do? What we had to. I gotta give him credit. He never gave you away. Now you're gonna watch them burn. We know Luke was your contact. All the secret meetings, we couldn't risk him reporting back. I won't let Brad take Emily and Alessandra. I told you, I'll do anything to protect my family. You're wrong. If you really cared about Emily, open this envelope. What is that? The DNA test will prove exactly who Emily's parents are. What the hell is she talking about? Don't listen to her. You don't need to look at that. I carried Emily inside of me. I am her mother. But is Brad Hardwick really her father? John. You've blamed yourself for so long. All you have to do is open that envelope. Don't you want to know for sure? More of Brad's lies. All this time? You said Brad was her father. You said that this movie star's been chasing us all these years. Oh my god. How could I be so blind? How could I let you manipulate me like this? This whole time it was me. I'm Emily's father. Fake. It has to be. If not, shut up. It's not a fake. I can tell. Ah! No. This is exactly what Brad wanted. He, he wanted to to put a wedge between us, and then he would swoop in. Oh, Dodger, no more lies. Was Brad Hardwick really in town filming a movie? Did you really sleep with him? Did you even meet him? Or was it all just to make me jealous? What happened? You told one line, it just kept growing and growing? And you kept it going all these years? You're insane! You know what the worst thing is? I believed you. I believed your lies. For so long, because you're my wife! You're the one person in the world that I should be able to trust, and you broke that! You broke it for what? You made us move out here. Hiding from the world. Hiding from a man who doesn't even know you exist! All the sacrifices I made for you. All the things you made me do. Maybe kill him. To protect Emily. I trusted you. <laughs> enough is enough. We have to pay for your lies. We have to pay for what we've done. I didn't know. I know I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew she would get to you eventually. We know him like her too. She gets to everybody. You said you would protect us, John. If you can't, I will. <laughs> You're next.
do you think you're going? <sighs> Alessandra, please. Look, I, I don't know what happened between you and Brad Hardwick. But I know you're in pain. You, you can't keep looking back. I did the same thing. I ran away when I should have stayed and faced the past. But I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to move on, and if I can do it, you can too. He would have you say that. Mommy? What did you do to Daddy? You lied to me. You're the boogeyman. So sorry. Should have listened to you. About everything. You can't run from your past. No one can. You were right. Oh, come on. Say something. You should know by now. I'm always right. <laughs> but I'm putting my foot down. Your up hair days are over. Going back to school. I couldn't agree with you more. You must be Emily? Emily, this is my big sister, Kara. I think you'll be seeing a lot more of each other. Aren't you glad I made you get this car? You were right. It's tailor-made. <laughs> you got this. Right, guys? Totally. Hell yeah. Billy, language. Don't worry. You are gonna be fine. They know I will. I'm ready.
All right, who's hungry? I am. Good. 